I'm going to set up my U scope to do AC ripple, and I'm going to use this Driveline Master U scope preset configuration file that you can get from my channel. And I'm going to use the top one, which is my AC ripple settings. In order to get this setup file, we're going to go over to my YouTube channel, and you'll want to click on Playlist. In the Playlist area, you want to go over to U scope Review and Introduction. And in the playlist over to the right, it is going to be this very last one down at the bottom, which is U-Scope Preset and Setup. So once you go ahead and open that video, you can go ahead and hit the pause, because all you want to do is go down to the description and hit more. In here, there are two links. One of them is this file in a PDF, and the other one is a zip file in case you want all my preset files and you just want to install them into your U-Scope and you don't want to set them up yourself. After turning your U-Scope on, you want the one-to-one -one probe. Then you're going to come down to the voltage and you're going to set that to 50 millivolts. So we're going to go ahead and navigate over till we highlight that and then we make that 50 millivolts. Then we're going to set our time over to 50 milliseconds. And then our position, we want to take our position up to the center of the screen. So let's go ahead and move our zero position right there to the center of the screen. We're going to have an auto trigger. And then we're going to have 28 millivolts on our trigger value here. So let's move this down to 28 millivolts. We're going to be on the rise. We're going to leave our invert off, and we want to have our horizontal trigger in the center of the screen where it is right now. Come on over to Menu, and let's go down and let's turn on our meters. So we turn the meters on, and then we want to make sure that we're going to have this minimum maximum. So we go ahead and select that. And so now we're all set, and we got our minimum maximum on the screen. Now go ahead and push the B button. And then we see that it saves it as 058. And that's the preset that will be used to rename this as an AC Ripple file. Now if I turn this off and turn this back on, I already have this one saved. And so we're going to get to that by simply going to the menu, going down to my presets, going down to user presets, and you'll notice the first one that did come up was my AC Ripple. So go ahead and press and hold the OK button till it turns completely green. And you'll see that we're at 50 millivolts, 50 milliseconds. We're at 28 millivolts on my trigger. And we have loaded our reference file already.